Hello, YouTubers. I'm switching from metal detecting to radios. Actually, repeaters. Um, not to bore many of you. Uh, this is my addiction, one of my hobbies. Uh, there's much more tucked away, and um, I'm sure that's mild compared to some of you hams and uh, other GMRS users out there. I'm just making a quick video here on the Thum, however you pronounce this, Amazon Chinese duplexer, F-U-M-E-I. Uh, this is a 30 watt version. Um, this thing is horrible. You can put, I'm putting six watts through it and only getting three watts out. That just goes to show you you're losing half your power, which is extremely bad. Um, I highly recommend if you want to slam something in a repeater and get it up and running to go with this 50 watt version of this. I've had two of them up and running on different repeater sites and they do great. Uh, actually one I didn't even tune to, to the specific frequency is up and running right now and doing just fine. Um, I did read that one to see uh, how it was tuned on this little machine here and um, it it checked out pretty good. I think it was a, uh, I think it was at four sixty seven seven, right on the dot to my frequency, and then it was on four sixty two, dead even, give or take. Um, so I said, great, I, I can live with that, and and slammed it up to get the repeater in operation. Now I have another fifty watt coming into this model because I liked them so much, and the insertion was great. I think it was one point two dB insertion loss which is better than even this Bridgecom and this other Dodge Phelps I have on my other repeater up right now. Um, not to bash these duplexers, um, but these are great as well. Bridgecom makes a great one. The Dodge Phelps, uh, um, that, that, they're a good brand duplexer. Um, anyhow, not to get sidetracked, uh, I'm putting six watts in and I'm, I'm only getting three out. And on the high side is even worse. I think I'm putting, I put six watts in and got two watts out. And this thing is tuned as best as you can get it. Um, I just had successful, I just had success with tuning with this thing. And I'm going to, I'm going to uh, make another video on this, on a Dodge Feltz repeater that's up and running right now. Actually outperformed this Bridgecom ever so slightly. Uh, I was very impressed with that. An old Dodge Phelps I got off Amazon. I think it was like 80 or 90 bucks, tuned it, and it runs phenomenal. I mean, you get this from Bridgecom. Sorry, Bridgecom, not the bad shoe, but you pay 300 bucks, a little over 300 bucks. And, you know, um, I think it's right around 1.5 dB, um, right around 80 dB of separation, which is good uh, for this little little tiny mobile duplexer. The, the Dodge Phelps did outperform this. Um, you know, you stacked them up and they looked about the same, but anyhow, um, we'll get into that in another video with me tuning, especially when my 50 watt come a version of this comes in. Um, and I'll even show you guys here. I got the any tune eight, six, eight hooked up and you know, I've already checked. It puts out six Watts right to the T. So here you have it. Three Watts. That's horrible. So you're putting six Watts in getting three Watts out. And that's on the low side and that's it's just man it, it's it's horrible and this thing is tuned the best as you can get it. I, I can guarantee you that and you know it's it's just not a good duplexer um have faith in the 50 watt i have my third one coming and that's for a reason so i just wanted to make a little video just to show everybody about this duplexer because i couldn't find much on those there's a couple videos out there on the chinese versions uh, Gorilla Com, uh, shout out to him. Check him out on his channel. Um, you know, I've, I've seen him put up one on a Chinese duplexer, and some have good luck, and, and some say yeah, they're, they don't get them. They're, they're, they're crap. But I will say that some of them do work just fine. Um, but that concludes the video. Um, I'm going to bring up, up, up another video of, of using this bad boy. This is a spectrum analyzer with tracking, a cheap Chinese little $100 model machine. Um, if you type that in um, eBay, you'll find them. About 80, 8200 bucks. 
but uh, we're going to put that to use on the 50 watt version and I'm going to get it tuned specifically to 467 7, 462 7 and uh, get it up on uh, my current running repeater, pull the other one and tune that as well. So uh, anyhow, thanks for watching. Stay tuned when I come back for the uh, performance check on the other version of this in 50 watts. So now I have the Bridgecom 50 watt. This is rated for 50. As you can see, I stacked, I stacked the two. Um, very sim, they have a lot of similarities in the design. Uh, a little different there, but a lot of sim similarities in the design and size. Obviously, I think this has the edge on quality. Um, but here I'm going to show you that this thing is right at spec on a right around 1.5 dB. Um, so I have everything hooked up here. We are on the low side at 462.7. So we are on the low side of this. Uh, this is the same we were on the other one. And I'm gonna give you a shot at me pushing six watts What we get out of this duplexer here. So right there, this goes to show you that uh, this thing actually perform, this thing actually performs just a little bit better how they have it tuned on the low side. Um, it was five on the high side. When we're right there, um, close to say it's dropping right back close to five. So it's just a hair over five. So that just goes to show you uh, the performance difference. And um, I should have hooked it up to the spectrum analyzer and let you seen uh, seen it on the analyzer itself. But uh, this is something I wanted to show you guys. Um, and compare it to uh, before I concluded this video, I want to compare it to this other Chinese duplexer. So, there you have it, folks. Stay tuned for the 50 watt version. Do not buy the 30, let that thing go. This thing's going to end up in the trash or scrap metal. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to uh, get this other video out soon on running the Spectrum Analyzer. And uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.